we have, I feel we need some high energy, right? Going into the weekend. So let's do some jive with the well-known Ricardo and Julio. It's going to be good. It'll be a bit of fun. I'll give you some key takeaways and some of my ideas. And naturally with any of these type of videos, there's so much you can do and learn. So let's get into it. Let's have some dancing. And for those who want to know uh, a little bit more about what we do and why we do what we do with Bora Mastery, check out the offer for 50% off all of the lessons and the technique training that I offer each of you every single week. So check it out and uh, let's get into it. So make sure you uh, enjoy this one. Sit back, relax, let's go. Thank you, Dan Cinema, for that one. So, man, there's a lot in that, right? There's a lot in that. So a couple of things to just sort of point out here that I'll look at from beginner level up to an advanced level. But it is cool to actually see this. And by the way, shout out to Ricardo and Yulia. I think from a competitive point of view and just general being nice, they are super cool people. They are re Ricardo has always been a sort of guy you go up with chat to. Like, it's really nice. He's number one in the world many years in a row. Fought for that spot. Like, he knows what he's doing like he was way back in the day early 2000s i still remember this final with him and franco and maurizio and peter stockman bro in like the early 2000s top amateur he was dancing with joanna wilkinson from australia and i didn't really pay much attention to him then but he was obviously amazing and then you know hit the scene with yulia and they just exploded and became like crowd favorites and probably one of the most followed dancers online and that's going to definitely happen more as time goes on with, with dancers having a brand and being followed like most sports people. But they, they are just really good people. You don't always have that. So there's people I'll put on here and I'll, I'll you look at their dancing. But these guys are also really genuinely good, cool people, which is great. So it's nice when you get both, right? Um, so now, not always my cup of tea, though, like in terms of in terms of dancing. It's just my personal flavor. But they're fucking amazing. So let's just actually look at what's what's going on, right? And I want to focus a little bit on Yulia, actually, because this, this is something I talk to my girls about when you're looking at, at the women dancing. It's like, she is so strong as a lady. She's amazing. So uh, let's look at her a little bit and get into this, yeah? So yeah, so this, this is the beginning right here. Look at this psych out, right? This is like Arnold Schwarzenegger eating burgers at Mr. Olympia. He's just like, ha ha, look at, yeah, you can tap, I can tap. We can start at the same time, boom, yeah. Nah, it's all over. It's happening, right? Everyone else, by the way, everyone else, <laughs> It's the hardest thing about competing against a guy like this. Everyone else looks so slow, right? Like, if you're a competitor, you're like, ah, oh, shit. Like, ah. It's like driving Miss Daisy and then you got a Ferrari next to you, you know? So, <laughs> but everyone is good, obviously, in that regard. But look at the look at the speed, man. So anyway, and uh, this is later in his career, too. He's probably got, like, knee problems now at this point in his life from, like, 30 years of dancing like this. But um, look, these chicken walks are out of this world, dude. Okay. All right, that's sick. Okay. And by the way, 
men out there, take note, take note to that lead. Okay. If you don't want to dance, you make her dance. All right. You, she does the work. You just like look like a rock star. Okay. That's a nice secret leading tip. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But the idea here, right? I want the ladies, let's look at like a, a beginning idea, an idea that will help a lot of you out there. This is the men too, but particularly the ladies, the basic link rock, the, the first two steps of a link or a fall away rock, have a look at how tight her feet are. Now I can't quite zoom in here, but a little bit further back, just even here, right? Boom, there, like, oh, you can't see it. I just paused at the wrong time. Anyway, boom, there, right? Look where that right leg is, yeah straight behind the body and it's so tight like if you watch how close her feet are when she moves and dances uh, relative to the speed of her body uh, you, you'll see why there's so much precision but then a lot of energy can come out of it yeah and so this is this is something you can take away so I, I had a comment from someone saying like oh this is so above I'll never be that good of course this is like the best in the world so you don't want to compare yourself to that but what you can do is take this away go into your dance lesson or in your practice and go, what can I do? Like what's possible? Everybody can do better links and rocks and understand how to do it. Being tighter in the feet is going to help with creating a better base to have more energy to come from. So just watch her feet in this next little section. Okay. Just the feet. Do not watch her dress or above the knees. Boom. See how tight the legs are? Boom. Right. Even when they're uh, doing their pivots. Yeah. See how tight? Even that fall away throw it like tight, man. So the body is very energetic, a lot of acceleration, but tight feet. And that it's really easy to take big steps, okay? So you don't want to do that. So that's one of the first ideas I wanted you ladies to, to think about and to see. All right, boom, 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 boom. All right. Just a variation of chicken walks they're doing. And then, but this, this is actually two. Another, okay, so from a choreographer point of view, the, yes, it's advanced, like the developments for sure. But they're also doing like basic movements, yeah? Like follow throw away chicken walks. And so then they've got like a rotary hand-to-hand -hand, um, checked turns or whatever. And, and things like that are advanced steps, but it's the way they do it that matters. So don't, competitors out there, if you're worried about your choreography, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. This is something I was taught. How would a world champion, how would they look with your routine? Okay. And that should help you understand it's not always your choreography. Okay. So don't try to fall into that trap of thinking, oh, my choreography is not good. That's why I'm not winning. No, like how would they dance with your routine? And you know the answer to that. You're like, ah, they would smoke me. Damn it. So I had that in my head when I was always training. And I, it helped me a lot with understanding that uh, I'm the problem, not necessarily the routine. And there are, we'll talk about choreography a bit later, but that's something to keep in mind when you're looking at steps like this. All right, cool. A little bit of audience play, always a good thing. Man, so much confidence to do, do all that. That's good. Boom. So like one thing you say is like how precise, right? How precise, so much precision and balance and being on point. And just also from a, this is a bit more high level, but one thing here that before, if I forget it, uh, have a look at where this couple on the left is, yeah? Okay, and then they don't even pay attention to them. They know they're there, but spatially they, they, don't, they don't look at them, right? Just watch, but watch how he still leads her. She f goes through the gap with like eyeballs in the back of her head, yeah? Like, here we go, come around, come around, boom, straight through. Doesn't like, the other guy too, he didn't even really flinch, right? That's amazing, that's awesome, I love that. Like when that happens on the dance floor, it's great. Cause most people forget about floor craft. They, they just hit someone and like, get out of my way. It's like, it's not rugby, man. Uh, so that's cool. So just keep that in mind, gentlemen, you also have like your peripheral vision going. You also have to be just aware, but that's, that's a very advanced thing. Okay, cool. So much audience play. Anyway, what do you think of this routine? What do, what do you think of them as dancers? Do you like them? Do you not like them? It's all good if you don't. There's so much you can learn, obviously. Yeah. Great side-by-side -side, like work. And the shunts. That's how you should start your day. Shunts. Okay? You should wake up in the morning and shunt. <laughs> Just like that. Just bang, bang. In, out, in, out. Loose. Loosey-goosey, baby. Okay? So, uh... Uh, they are definitely like massive crowd favorites, hey? Uh, there was a couple of little things I wanted to mention. So we got, we got chicken walks, energy. So sort of like level one is like the Lincoln Rock. So have a look at how tight the feet are. Have a look at how, how it doesn't, it, it's high power, a lot of agility, but the, but the steps are not big to, always big to move, right? And that, that happens heaps. When people want to go faster, the natural thing is to take a bigger step. 
You don't need to do that. Sort of level two is the pump. So let's go back for a quick second. So you can re you can reference this video again, by the way. So always come back to this because I know, I know I do say a lot of things, but I do feel they matter. So after you look at your link rock, the next thing is is the energy, okay? So there's something called the pump, right? So you're pumping, there's an energy to drive. What do you think the energy is? Write it in the window. What type of rhythm are you trying to create? What type of feeling should I have as a spectator watching? It's high energy, yeah? You don't want to be coming into this dance flat or with low energy or with, oh my God, here comes that dance and I'm going to die. So this dance has to be the dance if you're competing that you finish the strongest in. And I remember seeing them in Blackpool at a final. It was almost one in the morning and they were fighting hard against a couple called Michael Malatoski and Joanna Lunas. And they they were reigning number one. Well, they were number one, but they didn't win everything all the time in, in the sense of uh, one out of the four da five dancers. So they would sometimes generally win the drive. And one of the things I noticed about that was they wanted it the most. They were like energy plus, like the whole time they were dancing, it was just, they were in it, man. And I think that is awesome because you've got to have that approach. Like you don't want to be feeble in the last 30 seconds of this dance. You want to keep going longer than anyone else. Anyways, it's a little side note while I remember. But so the pump is this idea of if you watch the energy, even in the couples in the background, they all have this sort of bounce, yeah, coming out, out of the floor, but not, not too high, right? Like it's sort of, it's refined. It's like a good wine, right? Like it's a good wine. It's not, it's pleasing. Yeah. If you like wine or good tea. Okay. So the legs are tight. Okay. And there's a bounce rhythm coming up through the knees. Boom, boom, boom. But the, you'll notice there's not a lot of, um, So one of the things that separates sort of drive it from a beginner level to an advanced level is the development of the character and the rhythm, right? So the thing that's not here is you're not bouncing up and down like you're on a trampoline. And that's hard because what happens is it's sort of like it's between the, it's from the feet to the, the hips, you're sort of squishing, you know, there's a sponginess in your upper body, it's relaxed, it's not tight. And so there's a spongy, <laughs> um, a spongy bounce rhythm happening, but you're not bouncing off the floor. Right, so the pump is a better way to think of it than bouncing, yeah? Because people confuse that a lot and then they look retarded because they're bouncing up and down on a pogo stick. And so one of the big differences that separates drive from beginner level to a more advanced level um, is that you're not, I mean, you're swinging your hips, but you don't have this full upper body rhythm developed like you see in rumba, right? Because you just don't have the time. So you work a lot on leg action, strong, tight feet, really pumping up through the floor that way. Um, and also not trying to leave the floor too much, I would say. That that would be my my opinion. People who bounce up too high all the time, it looks a bit too contrived, right? It looks a little too hard. Harsh, I should say. Um, okay, so that's that's the sort of second main point. The other point was, where am I here? Partner work, right? So, gentlemen, you got to pay attention to this. Uh, drive is fast, as we know. So work on your stamina, work on your balance and your endurance, work on... Yeah, I'll, I'll come back to that, Undine. Um, you've got a good point there. Okay, so uh, partner work is very, very important with dancing, yeah? So you've got this idea of... All right, so let's just look at partner work very quickly rel relative to this dance. Okay, so there's two hands holding. They're not touching skin, touching skin. There's uh, You've got not really push and pull or drag and resist. You've got this idea of tone increasing and decreasing. So like you arrest the lady's arm a lot. But there's also like a, a, a physical lead and, and a shape lead and those sorts of things. So there's, there's four types of leads in dancing, right? Your weight lead, shape lead, physical lead, and visual lead. And this is all highly developed. So at a more advanced level, when you look at partner work, the uh, in, particularly in the chicken walks, let's just look at that one aspect because this is easy to teach without me doing it or holding your hand. Uh, have a look at how loose his hand is, but it's not loose, right? There's actually a fairly decent grip and she's resisting. And he's also resisting as well. So there's like, there's a tension in there, which is really, really good. If that supports her to be able to go into her movements and she's obviously on her own legs, not being supported up. And then you can see that that little <laughs> like, what's up, we're doing it, we're doing it is necessary, right? You need that to react from your own body and to help lead the lady into her steps, yeah? So just keep that in mind. When you're dancing, gentlemen, uh, if, so let's say you got your feet dialed in, you know your routine, you're on time and you're not panicking like you have just taken crack and you're going on the dance floor like a mad idiot and you're panicked, if you're not feeling that, you're in a good space to develop your partnership work because you're, one thing all professionals have, we have in common is that when you're dancing the jive, you're not being owned by the speed of the music. 
So you, that's the point you need to get to for partner work to really land and for connection and then audience performance to really start to take its own like form. So in the beginning levels, you just got to survive and get to the speed of the music and, and then eventually your body catches up. So once you get to a certain point though, you've, you've got a lot of connection you can develop and it feels easier to dance because you're using each other's body weight to move. So in the full way throwaway, like the man leads the lady across, she runs, like he follows her, but you can feel that and like it's much easier because you work together, right? So that's one of the ideas in partner work. Level like 10, okay, is just the overall dynamism, dynamism of the couple, like smashing it, smashing it with the audience, right? Just like playing, being able to relax. That's like total unconscious competency, like Zen Yoda work level, right? You've got it dialed in and your musicality is on point. Like you're one with the music. You're just on it like a boss, right? And that's the point everyone wants to get to. But if you're a social dancer, you, that's not going to happen. So don't worry about that. You dance from your heart. You enjoy it for a different reason. So yeah, I agree with you on the technical aspects or artistry. Yeah, uh, Yuli is amazing. These two smashed it together. Like they really, great couple. And a little, here's a little side note before I finish up. I'd like to everyone take this away. They came out to our studio for a workshop. And again, we learned some cool backend stories about them. I believe from what I remember, before they did any competition, they spent one whole year, both top professionals. This is not like beginning people. These are, she danced with Maxim, who I'll bring on later on because I love his choreography. He's a stunning, I think he's a great choreographer and performer really. Um, but she was always this just phenomenal unicorn. We're going to call her a unicorn. It's Yulia the unicorn, right? Because she's just a whole different style. She's got her legs dialed in. She's stunning, beautiful, uh, got the aspects, competitive, like perfect for dance sport, you know, all those sorts of things happening across all the dancers. So when they met, they didn't compete for a year and they studied all the technique and went through all their basics from the beginning to build a strong foundation as a couple. What can we learn about that, right? Like that is, that's amazing. We need an applause. <laughs> applause for them because they didn't need to do that right they they had a he she bro, he broke up with her partner and she broke up with his and then they spent a year doing their basics and their fundamentals at a top level where it's hyper competitive and you know what was the point of doing that well think about it right no one's above their basics no one's above their technique every workshop they they do or teach it's going to be some aspect of that right and, and that's the thing that I love to teach. It's why I do these videos. It's why I get this content on YouTube. It's why I've got courses and things like that because I was raised that way too. And it seems to resonate with all of the people who are the best in the, in the art form, right? So take a note from that. Get into your technique. Actually do your medals. It helps a tremendous amount. And then from there, they just exploded into the competition scene and, you know, were, were a, a voice to contend with and then got their shot, finally became first place at Blackpool and, and you know, and, and the rest is history. And I think one of the most respected and loved couples. So shout out to y'all for all that work. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing to see. So was there anything else uh, that I wanted to touch on? What somewhere inside the bounces contained inside the body? That's right, yeah. So so you don't want to be bouncing. There's a pulse in Samba, right? That's coming up. So it's a different rhythm, yeah. But you want to be coming. And, and I always love Samba. I'll tell you why. I love teaching, doing Samba online because you always get that one Brazilian who's like, this is not Samba. This is not Samba. <laughs> We jive, right? That that feeling comes from sort of the shoulders down, you know, and then up, right? It's a sponge. That's the best way I can explain it. And you have to be loose to do that. Anyway, I hope you all got something from this. Happy Easter to everyone. Let's finish off the night. A little bit of jive. <laughs>
day, man, if you were near that dress, if you're in the audience, you would lose a freaking eye. That thing was spinning so fast, right? Okay, you all out there are awesome. Thank you very much. Make sure you check this out. Go to this link, boom. Hit up that code, BM YouTube 2023. Get yourself 50% off. Let's rock. Anyway, thank you all. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you. New timetable for all these lives. You want to check it out on the YouTube channel, also the Facebook group uh, or Facebook page. You get lots of cool things, but it is stunning being with you. Thank you for all your support. Love you all. And PS, coming to LA soon. So if you're out in that way, and you'd like some lessons, hit me up. Otherwise, if you're at any of those comps, Come and say hello to me. I'd love to meet you.